Hey, this is Cameron with the Sea Butters channel. You know, we were some of the first people to report on the throttling issues that the Surface Pro 3 had uh, when it first came out. And we we're also some of the ones to tell you how to alleviate those issues, aka strapping a fan on the side of your device, which was less than ideal. Um, so the Pro 3 had some real issues, but today we want to look at the Surface Book and see if it has any throttling issues. Now I'm going to get really in depth and dive deep in this video. Um, if you're not interested in all the minutia and looking at little graphs and things like that, like I am, which I, most people won't want to look at that. If you want to avoid all that, simply click here and I'll give you a complete recap over the findings of the throttling with the Surface Book. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the main meat of the subject. Uh, once, like I say, if you don't want to see all that, it's really long, but it's really detailed and good information if you're interested. Otherwise, click here for the recap. Thanks. Hey, Cameron here with the Surface Book, taking a look at thermal throttling. Now, I have the i5 version with the 6300U processor, and it also has the NVIDIA GPU. However, for this video, I'm going to be testing only with the Intel HD 520 graphics. And the reason I'm doing that is because I really want to see if this device throttles. Now, in my experience, the, having the GPU in the keyboard so far, I'm not seeing really evidence of any throttling at all. It seems to be able to cool pretty well. But we're going to prove that to you. And also see what you can expect from the iGPU and the CPU working together in a thermal constrained package to see if it's going to throttle, if it's going to cause issues, if you're going to get slowdowns. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, I have the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility open right here. So I've tried to tweak this interface to show the bare minimum that's super clear so you can see what's going on and you know really get a feel for when this thing's throttling and when it's not. So the first thing I want to talk about is this green line. This is the package temperature. Now the package is a composite temperature of the CPU and the GPU. They're both very close to that temperature. Um, I've looked at them individually and they're really close so it makes sense to look at them all as one since they're just sitting right next to each other. And we can really keep the graph clean by just having one temperature, this green area. The orange is the frequency of the CPU. Now when this is up high, it means it's working it to its maximum extent. This processor, the max turbo, is about 3 gigahertz. And it's rated for 2.4 gigahertz. So as long as it's 2.4 gigahertz or above, it's not being throttled. It's just operating normally. And if it's lower than that right now, it could be idling, which is why we have the CPU utilization right there. So the orange is the CPU clock, and the pink is the graphical clock. Right now it's at zero because we're not using it. So we're going to start stressing this thing in just a minute here. And what you'll see is if it's actually getting throttled, these items on the right-hand side are uh, indicators of when it's actually throttling. There's a thermal throttle. That's when the CPU and GPU get so hot that it will cool itself down by reducing the clocks. There's a power limit throttle. That is, if the package is using too much wattage, it will actually limit itself. Um, there's current limit as well. And this is new. I haven't seen this in XTU before until Sky Lake. And this is the motherboard VR thermal throttling. And I'm wondering if it has something to do with maybe the sensor that we saw even in the SP3 where if the back of the SP3 got hot it would throttle itself even if the CPU was not very hot so what the what we saw is the Surface Pro 3 would throttle itself really heavily even when the CPU and GPU like weren't that hot it could have done more so we, we put a fan on the side and it actually brought the temperature of the casing on the Surface down uh, the Surface Pro 3 not this device the Surface Book but it would actually let the CPU and GPU clock higher. It alleviated the throttling because it was some sort of special throttling we couldn't even see. So this may actually let us see that, but I'm not sure. That's just me talking basically out of my butt at this point. But 
that could be it. We also can see the TDP on the package, the graphics in the core, and see how much they're using in real time. So really useful information here that we're going to use to see if this thing really, really throttles. So let's go also into here. And the thing I want to show you here is there are two levels of TDP that you actually have to work with. You have a short power max. So everyone talks, oh, this is a 15 watt design. Well, actually it's a 25 watt design, but that 25 watt design is designed for, you know, <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what the timing is on it. It may be a variation. It may be calculated off of several different things. <coughs> Excuse me. But the initial boost on this thing is actually 25 watts that it will use up to. And then the extended boost time is a 15 watt. So over time, it will eventually try to even out and only use 15 watts. So there you go. But you can adjust these. I'm not going to do that right now and work at completely stock because I don't want to skew anybody's results for stock usage. But we'll get into that later. But let's pop back to our monitoring display and let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. Now I'm going to right click on Minecraft and I'm going to run with, with the integrated graphics processor. And we're going to see if we can stress the CPU and the GPU and see if we can get it to throttle. I'm going to make this thing bigger to really let it actually do something. And here we are using the HD Graphics 520. You can see that it is starting to heat up. And you can also see that our CPU utilization is up. And the core frequency of the CPU is about 2.2, so just slightly less than the base clock, and the graphics frequency is kind of bumping around a little bit, but it looks like it's at about 999 <coughs> megahertz, which is super high. The processor graphics is actually, you know, it's, it's meant to be variable. You'll see it bounce around a lot, but as long as it's up above 750-ish, it's really could be considered running full speed. So the temperature is really bumping up. And as the temperature bumps up, we may see the core frequency dip or the processor graphics dip. But basically what you see start to happen is you kind of hear the fan turn on. So the Surface Book is starting to ramp up its fan, which in turn is alleviating some of the stress but um, what will happen in this particular usage case is the temps will ramp up to about 70 degrees and the surface book actually ends up not throttling at all uh, basically it stays at about 2.3 the graphic stays at about 900, 950, it kind of pops around. But this thing can actually play Minecraft all day long without throttling. I've tested this, I've run it for 45 minutes, no changes. It's just sitting there maxed out. So I'll let that kind of get up to 70-ish degrees. And you'll see for yourself that there's no real throttling going on here. Our frequencies look good. In contrast, if you look at the Surface Pro 3 when we did this test, you can see it immediately dipped to about 800 megahertz and the processor graphics dropped down to about 350 megahertz. So it really got pegged quickly. But it's really capable of running this game all day long.
So I'll let that sit there for a minute so you can kind of see what happens. It'll basically level out and it's good to go. Essentially no throttling. So some games are a little more intensive than others. Um, what we're going to do in a second is open up a game that can actually stress it further. But I, I'm showing you this initially because I want you to realize that it's really rare for this thing to throttle. Um, it, it takes a lot to get it to throttle. You know, some games, no issues, you're just non-stop full speed. Like this one. I play this all day. It may bump down a little bit, you know, but nothing like we saw on the Surface Pro 3. The throttling has been essentially fixed, even in this thin chassis. So you saw there it even actually boosted to 2.5 for a minute. So <coughs> there's pretty much no issue with this game. So take that for what it's worth. I have tested this, at, you know, over 45 minutes, and it's totally fine. No problems. So let's back on out. In fact, you know what? I'm even going to leave this game open. And I'm actually going to open up the Tomb Raider benchmark. Actually, I will close Minecraft there. So, I'm going to play 720p windowed mode. And in general, this screen right here is actually pretty hard on the processor. But you can see we're actually boosted at 2.7 and the processor graphics is at 950. I'm going to go ahead and start the benchmark. You could see there the package TDP was at 15 watts, which is maxed out for the settings we're at. You can see our package temperature is really climbing up there. That's what we want to see. We want to saturate this thing with heat. But you can still see 2.4 gigahertz with 950 on the processor. That's not a throttling device, my friends. There we go. 32 min, 48, average frames of 40 second. Boom. Here we go. So we're starting to get a little bit of throttling. This is what we wanted to finally see. You can see the core frequencies drop down to 1.4 and 850. The interesting thing to note is this throttling is not occurring because of the temperatures. This is happening because it said, you know what? this computer is using too much power right now it is not adhering to what we consider the right amount of power for this device to be using so it dropped it down and the where it hits it in this device the surface book device which is totally different than the surface pro 3 device well kind of different it dropped the cpu down to about 1.4 but it keeps the processor graphics pretty high, which is a good choice because you can see the CPU is actually barely being used. So let's see how well that works. Let's, so our average frames per second was 40 frames a second there. So let's go ahead and run that benchmark again. 
while throttled. So the throttling isn't happening right now. Maybe it eventually will. There we go. A little bit of power limit throttling happening there. Core frequency drops to 1.5. This is actually really interesting to see. My guess is that it's not going to affect the benchmark speed too much. While this throttling, it's really not throttling the GPU. It's throttling the CPU. But, keep in mind, there we go. So. We went from 40 frames a second to 39 frames a second. We lost one frame a second due to the throttling on that pass. So, throttling a little bit using the integrated graphics. Let's go ahead and run it one more time. There we go. So just to reiterate, the Surface Book is throttling at stock settings. We could do things, we could undervolt it, we could avoid the power limit throttling, which we'll probably cover in another video. But when it is throttling, it is not doing what the Surface Pro 3 was doing. It is not throttling all the way down to 800 megahertz and processor at graphics at 350. It is throttling, but just a little bit. You can see the orange bumping down, the, the orange frequency bumping down to about 1.4. So the other thing is we're now down to 38.4 frames a second on average versus the 40 that we saw before. So let's go ahead and try it one more time. This video is kind of long, but if you've stuck in this long, then you want to see it. Power limit throttling kicking in. Okay, 38 frames a second. So you can see that, well, you know what? Let's kick it to a recap. Okay, final conclusions on the Surface Book. Does it throttle? That's a loaded question. It does throttle, but listen to me. Don't get carried away. Don't say, oh, it's throttling. Ah. 
That's not the problem. Most devices end up throttling. The Surface Book does throttle, but it takes a lot to get there. The throttling is very minimal. It's completely different than the throttling that we saw on the Surface Pro 3. Surface Pro 3 would, you know, within five minutes drop down to 800 megahertz. The GPU would drop down to 350, 400 megahertz on the, on the GPU. The Surface Book does not throttle nearly to the extent that the Surface Pro 3 did. Uh, in fact, it barely throttles at all. In fact, you can run lots of games and never run into any throttling issue on this device. Um, you may be running a very intensive game, you know, a newer game that's really capable of maxing out that, that GPU, and it may throttle slightly. Uh, but, here's the kicker, it's not throttling due to heat. It's not. It's about 70 degrees on that CPU and GPU. You know what those things are rated for? 105 degrees Celsius. So it's not even close to being thermally maxed out. What's happening is a power limit throttle. So these are 15 watt devices that have a 25 watt initial boost on them. Uh, so sometimes in extended gameplay, there will be a 15 watt envelope where it starts to exceed that and the, the basically the timings and that Intel's programmed into the chip say, you know what, you need to knock it off. You need to use a little bit less power. And when this thing throttles, it doesn't do a Surface Pro 3, kill it, go down to 800 megahertz. It dips down to about 1.4, which is much more reasonable. Uh, it doesn't seem to, you know, the graphics kind of limits itself anyway, slightly as it goes through, but I didn't see any GPU throttling that was any issue. In fact, when this device was throttling, it went from about 40 frames a second on average down to 38 frames a second on average. So very minimal throttling. Don't get scared when you say this throttles. I've had other devices, other Intel devices that you're using the Intel GPU, and <clears throat> they all will power limit throttle. A power limit throttle is going to happen on any device if it has that CPU. So this is a 6300U. The throttling we saw would happen in any other 6300U. It's not anything wrong with the Surface Book. There's no thermal. The thermals are handled great in this device. Uh, the fan will turn on. It will keep it cool right around 70 degrees for the CPU-GPU package. And it actually has no issues keeping itself cool. So uh, the other thing to keep in mind is our test was only with the integrated graphics. Uh, the thing that remains to be seen is, is this going to throttle at all when you're using the NVIDIA graphics? We didn't cover that in this video. Uh, my guess is it's going to be hard to run into that. I'll keep doing some testing, but the testing today was just using the GPU and the CPU in the top part of the Surface Book, and it is totally capable of running all day long without running into any thermal limits. It might run into a power limit throttle, but that's totally across the board on any 6300U device, and it rarely ran into it, and when it did, it did not throttle way back like the Surface Pro 3 did. It just throttled slightly, and the performance was almost unaffected. So, Surface Book, no issues with throttling. It does throttle, but not very.